some uh, this corridor scene that I did uh, three years ago already on this YouTube channel and I wanted to show you some ray tracing features as uh, Unreal Engine 4.22 has come out with the ray tracing that you will see in here so let's uh, dive into the scene and I'll show you all the uh, things that are worth uh, talking about so what I'm going to do is show you the way I've done this scene a little bit uh, with regards to the lighting because it's worth noting that this is completely real time in the sense that there is absolutely no uh, light baking so if i kind of select this sphere and uh, play around there so you see all the beautiful uh, ray trace reflections we're getting and um, completely interactive so if i kind of go into the lighting only feature you can see that there's a kind of really nice the shadow being um, cast here. So let me show you the lighting and then I'll switch them all off so that we can really see what's going on. And I'll turn, turn, turn them all back on um, one by one. Right, so here we are, completely in darkness. So there is no GI, no pre-built uh, light mass or anything like that. And then I'm going to Go back to my default viewport here and I'll turn the skylight on which was actually off uh, and I'll explain why in just a minute so here you see that we have a lovely uh, I'll go back to the other end over there we have a really nice ambient occlusion effect of the um, the pillars casting a shadow here and then we've got a nice shadow so you see it's a little bit noisy when I move around and this is because the denoiser algorithm is uh, still being worked on. I'll increase my FOV a little bit. And so let's go back to the skylight and see that here uh, we have a gray uh, light, a gray texture that I've just created in Photoshop as a 32-bit HDRI uh, square image. And we could replace this light by a HDR with the sun on. And what you see here is that there is no uh, other light in the scene. If I turn it on and off. We've actually got GI, which you see is still maybe a little bit noisy. But the point about uh, me showing you this, which is very experimental still, is that we can actually completely change the lighting of the scene based on the angle of the sun in the cube map. So a good way to test this out as well is to use the path tracing, the path tracer, which um, works a little bit like uh, any normal path tracer. And this is very much the typical uh, example where this is very, uh, very useful to be able to check that. All right, so if we go on on, um, on here, we can see that also we can change the size of the uh, of the light, of the resolution of the cube map here, and that's kind of slightly affects the size of our shadows, especially if I go all the way to the bottom here. So let me go to the post-process volume, try and increase the number of samples of GI, say to eight. He counts it down. There you go. So that's. Uh, let's just go once more on the skylight, change the angle, and we've got a very, very clean, beautiful lighting solution here. Very, very easy. Okay, so now uh, let's go back to our gray card, though, to give us a very um, smooth. Uh, lighting solution here more ambient occlusion like and we can now turn on our sunlight and so we can see again that we've got a very precise shadow here for the sunlight and that decreases in um, softness in the distance so again this is a very very beautiful uh, example of how 
the ray trace shadows get, don't give us this banding that we would normally see at very low angles as well. So again, we get this very sharp shadow effect. So it's the same effect as the HDR, but we've got that um, more controllable here. I'm actually sort of turning my uh, my direct sunlight, and I hide it with the pressing the uh, the letter G as well. And so while we're there, let me turn these little exhibits on. And we can see that we've got um, a kind of an area light. So if I hide my... Uh, so here we have this area light that has some funny uh, ears to it. And those are called the barn doors. So you can see how these affect the way the edges of the light work. And you can also change the length, which is very, very uh, useful. If I was to turn the uh, rest and the skylight off as well, you can see that there's a very strong GI effect here that the, um, the light is actually casting a um, illuminating the sky, the, the ceiling as well. And I will actually go and turn these on rather than turn the skylight on. These are a typical um, old school effect, if you want, that uh, of putting rectangular lights out on the outside of the building, which enable us to uh, project a very controlled um, lighting on the inside, thus leaving the skylight off. Okay, and if I continue uh, down the little corridor, as it were here, you can see also the beautiful metallic effects that you are now be, um, being able to generate, of course, um, with ray tracing. And again, with our light uh, bouncing on. So here I have a little uh, sequence which enables us to move the uh, the sunlight. And you can see how the sunlight also um, reflects and blooms into the metal. So I found this uh, way of controlling the lighting, the angle of the sun with the sequencer is very, very practical. And very useful. There you go. Um, I hope that was useful. If there's any uh, any other questions, any questions you have, or any uh, comments or ideas to make more videos, if you want me to go into any more depth on any of these features, please feel free uh, to comment, and I'll see you in the next video.